Hey there everyone, it's Jack here, back with another live stream today. As the title suggests, we're taking a look at the Helgen O-Gage Class 55 Delta today. I'll just give you guys a few minutes to jump into the chat. I'll be here for probably around 15 to 20 minutes, so if there's anything you want to know about these models, do get your questions down there in the chat, and I will be able to answer those because I can see them in front of me. We've already got Flying Scott here, and he says, hey up folks, we've got Ono Mulder, one of our regulars here, says hi Jack, so thank you very much you guys for joining us. Um, as I say, throughout the stream, if there is anything you want to know about the models, just shout out in the chat and uh, I will be able to answer those for you. But I think we'll just crack on, really. If you want to check back uh, later on as well, you can watch the stream back as a full video so you can see everything I talk about here today. Um, we've got Fine Scott here again says... Uh, this isn't a view I get to see every day. So yeah, we've got a bit of a different view for you here today. Um, and if this is something you'd like to see more of, we do offer one-on-one -on -one appointments as part of our VTEL store, which you can see behind me. So anything that you do like the look of in the background, we can easily set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment with you to chat about those if you so wish. Uh, we've got a huge range of stuff, as you can see, to take a look at, and we can get other things from our warehouse to chat to you about as well. So do head to the front page of our website and you can book an appointment today. It might be with me, it might be with Dave, it might be with someone else in the team. And um, we can have a chat to you one-on-one -on -one about something that you're interested in so do check that out if you're interested but on to the, the meat of the topic today we've got the delta of course and i'll pick up this one in front of me to give you a bit of a closer look because it is an absolutely stunning model this one from helgen <clears throat> so this was released a few years ago now it was actually model rails model of the year 2011 and since then there's been a few different batches and this is the latest stock that we have here so there are currently three different variations in stock you've got 5503 which is in br green with the small yellow panels as i just showed you here and you've got the lovely two-tone green stripe there on it as well you've got 5505 which is br green with no yellow ends so in that very early condition there as you can see still got that lovely two-tone green stripe though which is quite a striking look on these and then we've also got which is probably my personal favourite, is 5506 D9001 St. Paddy, which is in this pretty fantastic weather condition, as you can see, with the full yellow ends there. Now, it's one thing that we talked about a little bit before on the streams is the quality of weathering in O gauge now, ready to run. It's absolutely stellar, especially with these halogen locomotives, as you can see here. It is stunning, the weathering on this. The quality of it is superb. And as you'll see from the front, it's interesting that it's actually clean here on the yellow end. Now, this would have been because that part of the local was more regularly washed um, to make sure that the head code could be seen, that the yellow end could be seen for safety reasons, and also so that the headlights weren't obscured and things like that. So it's it's fantastic that Helgen has re replicated that as uh, realistically as possible, which is really great to see. Now, one question which I did see before, I believe it was from uh, Lakota Thrauf earlier on, was if we are getting more of the BL Blue models in stock. Now, those were really, really popular and they sold out very, very quickly indeed. Um, and we are querying with Helgen as to whether more stock can come. You can pre-order it on the website right now. And once we have more details on that one, um, we'll be able to update you with a potential date for when they might come in. So if you want the BR Blue one, it is 5504, the product code. But as I say, we're just still awaiting details on it as to whether we can get some more in. You can see a few comments on there. We've got jo Joe Chim. Sorry if I said that wrong. Um, says hi. And we've got Ono saying it's an awesome model. It really is. It's it's one of Helgen's best diesels at the moment, frankly, to be honest with you. There's tremendous this level of detail here and obviously we'll be going through it a little bit more here as well as i say it was model rails model of the year 2011 but this latest batch did have a few revisions in it so there was an updated chassis in here so you've got a little bit of a different uh, mechanism so it's more up to date with some of the other diesels that you will have seen recently you have got led lighting in this one as well so it's nice and bright and you can really see those lights working on your layout um but of course the model as a whole Absolutely tremendous specification you get here. The level of detail is just superb. I'll demonstrate it with the weather one again because, you know, it's lovely, isn't it? So you can see on there, you've got all the roof fans picked out really nicely. Really fine edge grills over those as well. You've got some nice separately applied grills on the sides there as well. Got a lot of separately fitted details in front. You've got the handrails here. You've got the horn. You've got your sprung buffers there. You've got your screw link coupling. It's the works on this, really. You've got your handrails on the side, and you've got see-through windows, which you'll probably, probably can't quite see, but you will be able to see the mechanism in there. So as you might just be able to see there, that's one of your motors there, and that's one of your motors there. So as you can tell, dual five-pole motors in this piece, so it's going to be capable of hauling absolutely anything. 
really powerful motors in these. So they are quite fantastic runners as well as how they look. These are vertically mounted as well. Um, so quite good weight distribution between the loco there. So it's uh, very good. Back onto de detailing though, and you'll be able to see if I pick up this one. Hopefully you might just be able to see there. Cab detail is absolutely stunning. You've got seats in there. You've got plenty of switch gear all picked out in different colors as well. So that's really nice to see. Obviously when you're coming up to O-Gage, this is miniature locomotive territory we're talking about here really. So you want to get that level of detail spot on. Um, we've got Flying Scott in the comments. As, um, the screw links are 100% functional, right? How do they couple to Mark 1 coaches? Don't they have a hook rather than awkwardly under the passageway? They do. They are completely functional. So I'll try and adjust this one. So you might just be able to see there, they are free. And it can be a little bit tricky if you're just starting out in your gauge. You might need to get some tweezers out or something like that. But once you've done it a few times, it, it does become a bit of a breeze to just hook it straight onto the coupling uh, on the side of the Mark 1 coach or any, or any of the stuff you want to bring it through. Um, we've got the Cutter Fear off there again, asking if the original blue livery version will be for sale. I have to say, uh, 5504, we are awaiting for the stock from Helgen there. We have queried it with them um, as to whether we can get more. You can pre order it on the website right now, but we'll, um, we will be checking with them to see when we can get that in because it's not available right now yet. Um, as I say, guys, if you anything else you want to know about the models, do chuck it in the comments and I'll be able to um, answer that for you. Right, so I did touch on the roof fans a little bit earlier. Now, these actually work, which is amazing. The, um, when the loco is being driven, there is a little offshoot that goes up to these fans, so they completely work, which looks absolutely fantastic in motion. As we touched on just then with the screw link coupling question, got full screw links on there and nice um, free movement there. And I believe there is a socket underneath if you wanted to put some different couplings on there. But if you're going for the full realism with the free link, that is there. Um, if for all you digital users, you've got full digital capability in here. And Helgen's made it really easy because it's just plugged straight into the PCB on these. There's not a lot of work required to do that. So it's just whack body off, put your chip in and off you go. Um, nice and ready to run, almost like it's a double cage model, really. Um, I should expect as well because you'll see me trying to pick these up really heavy chassis on these really heavy indeed nice bit of metal in there as well so a lot of pulling power to go along with those dual motors so make it have no issue at all with any rakes you want to haul speaking of which other stocks run with these what else can you have now as you might have expected o gauge is absolutely exploding at the moment with a lot of different products coming through of course we've seen a new batch of these there's a lot of other locomotives coming through that will be perfect to pair with us from the eastern region as well such as the class 81 the class 40 the class 47 Lots of different variants of those coming through. But in terms of stock as well, plenty of models coming through there as well. Helgen's new Mark 1 coaches will be absolutely perfect to pair with this, which you can pre-order on the website right now. And there's a huge range of freight stock out there as well. One great place to look is in your Britain's Model Trains Guide, which you can pick up on the website right now as well. That's got a full, if I just have a quick flick through, that's got a nice section at the back, complete with all the different locos and freight stock and coaches that are available in O gauge at the moment that gives you a bit of an idea of what is available and what is coming in the future as well so it is well worth picking one of those up but also do just check out our website because we've got a huge range of stock available if you go to the O gauge section and just have an explore through there but as i say those mark one coaches are going to be absolutely perfect for this due to what these locos were built for which i suppose if you're not too familiar with the deltics let's talk a little bit about that because they've got a tremendous history of these uh, locomotives really there was a total the 22 built which is not a huge fleet really but they were sort of the pinnacle of express traction on the east coast mainline so they were built between 1961 and 1962 at good old english electric at the vulcan foundry in new willows um, and realistically i mean you probably not you, you probably will have heard of the delta at some point in your life it's one of the uk's most iconic diesels really revolutionary um with that napier delta power unit which is where it derived its name from if you don't know how exactly that power unit worked it was basically a triangular formation with the cylinders and it had crankshafts at the corners and it was i don't believe it's been used in many other applications in locomotives where it was um also uh, applied to various marine uses and things like that so it was found to be monumentally powerful as well i believe the locomotives had about fifty thousand pound foot of tractive effort which is just astounding really especially for the time and they were capable of 100 miles an hour as well which means they were perfectly suited to the express services along the east coast mainline now of course 
could bring in the sort of 70s um, and the 80s and the HSTs have come into the fall and they started to take over a lot of the services on the, that the 55s were um, working before. So they were displaced, but they still went to work on a lot of the semi-fast workings and they also moved on to freight workings as well. But that just means it's great for the model because it gives you the opportunity to run them on some different services. It means you've got the opportunity to do some mixed traffic there as well because he did do a little bit of that towards the end of the lives. And unfortunately, they were all withdrawn by the end of 1982 but of course it's not the end of the story there because there's six still in preservation today which you can see around quite a lot of the uk i believe there is still one at the national railway museum if you want to go and take a look at one there as well because importance of this class it's got to be in the collection hasn't it and it's got to be still seen on preserve railways today so you can go and see it i'll just take another quick look at the comments to see what's going on um Graham MTK says, looks a great loco. The Black Five behind you will be right up my street. Might need to take the Skype call. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to take a look on the front page of our website, we've got full details on how to make your own VTAIL v-commerce call. Um, and you can have a one-on-one -on -one chat with either myself, Dave, or another member of our team. And like I say, anything you see behind me, we can chat about, or anything else you see on the website, we should be able to get that brought up here for your, for your conversation. So if there's something you want to chat about, um, do you make a, an appointment. Um, Flying Scott says, this is going to sound foolish, but I'm new to a gauge. What minimum radius is recommended for these? Ooh, that's a good question, actually. I'm not sure off the top of my head, um, to be honest with you. We could, could put that down in the chat. Um, once the stream is finished, I'll put that down in the comments um, to confirm that. But I'm not too sure what radius is best for you off, off the top of my head. But I believe it should be fine to use with the minimum radius um, Pico set track for O gauge. So shouldn't be a problem there. But yeah, as I say... You can just see from in front of me, it's an absolutely beautiful miniature locomotive, shall we say, of one of the UK's favourite diesels. Absolutely perfect for East Coast layouts from the 1960s right through to the 1980s. As I say, we've drawn there in 1982, but they had a, they, they packed the punch in while they could. They were on those express services for a long time, moved on to the semi-fast and even onto a bit of freight as well, but they really made their mark while they were there. Obviously, it's such an iconic name, the Delta, and people often confuse other locomotive classes as the Delta because of the similar shape. Like people quite often call a Phase Seven a Phase Fifty Five, but this is the real deal. This is what the Delta really is. As I say, plenty of other stock that you can pair these with. Lots of locomotives coming through. Lots of great freight stock coming through, and plenty available right now to order as well. If you do check out our website, and of course those Helgen Mark Ones will be perfect for this in that original condition. Just to summarise what we do have again, I'll go through that. We've got 5503, which is in the BR green with the small panels, which I'll bring in from our shot again. Now, it's absolutely beautiful in this condition because it's absolutely resplendent with the white cab surrounds. You've got the lovely two-tone stripe there, grey roof, and of course, the smaller yellow panels. So you've got liveries reflecting the full lifespan here. Obviously, BR blue hopefully will be available again in the future, as a few people have been asking for. We've got 5505, which has got the no yellow ends, fully green ends there. So a bit of a different condition. This is more at the very start of the lifespan of 55, very early on. But you've still got those white cab surrounds and the grey roof. And, you know, this is a period where British Rail was trying to really showcase how important um, these were to the express services and to make them seem like a really high-end locomotive. Hence why they're going for such a resplendent livery with the lovely two-tone, the white surrounds on that grey roof to make it really make an impact. Finally, of course, the one that, as I say, probably my personal favourite is the lovely weather model here, code 5506, which is re represented D9001 uh, St. Paddy. So you've got full yellow ends there a little bit later on, just before BR Blue came into prominence. But that weathering is just superb, like I say, totally realistic as well. So you've got the clean fronts, but then absolutely filthy over the top on the bonnets, especially it's absolutely filthy there. And around the exhaust pots, absolutely covered in grime. So it's perfect for that. And you obviously don't need to do any weathering yourself if you pick that one up. Now, in terms of price, you're looking at £509.15 for any of the ones you see here. There is no price difference in the weather one either, so you can pick that up for the same price as the pristine ones, which is really interesting to see. Um, and all three of the ones that I've shown you there, they're all available to purchase now. What I would say as well is that these are on very limited stocks at the moment. So if you do want to pick up these, um, now would be the time to do so. As I said, that BR Blue one went out of stock really quickly, and we are working to see if we can get some more in the future, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. But as I say, if you want to pick one up, now's the time to do so, because it won't be around forever. Um, 
and you you can't say uh, you can't say no at this price for the level of quality that you're getting and how beautiful these locomotives look. They will be perfect for, as I say, quite a lot of different Eastern Region layouts. But even for just a collector, it's like a mantelpiece item or something like that. It's perfect, and especially if you know at the moment if we are having to potentially stay at home a little bit more. Now's the time to do a bit of modeling. Now's the time to grow your collection a little bit. Perfect time to do so with our next day delivery options as well. Oh, yeah. So do get one of these home to your collection. As I say as well, a um, couple yeah. more guys I've seen asking about the uh, v-commerce opportunities and um, plenty of different things that we can talk about if you wanted to talk about a bit more one-on-one -on -one with someone about one of these locomotives or some of the different stock that you could haul with them speak about a range of o-gauge items or even if you wanted to get started in o-gauge we can arrange for a call um about that do check it out on our website you can book an appointment right now all right so i'll just double check the comments we've got look with the frail asks uh, is this a two rail model uh, and not fair drill that's correct so it's just two rail so based on uk specification for o-gauge as you can see so yeah that's brilliant so thank you very much for all your great comments there guys so if there is anything else you want to know do pop them down the chat or ask us on social media or via our help desk team and they'll be happy to answer any further questions um i think that's probably about us for now but do check out on our facebook page later we will have a link for another live stream with dave where we'll be talking about the default engage class 56 as well so do check that out a little bit later on for something a bit different if you're interested in the smaller scales as well and um, keep an eye out for further streams coming up as well but if as I say, if you do want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion as well, make sure to book your VTEL call with us today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.